Welcome back Valley friends, today we'll be continuing the forgotten story in the quest, The Dark Castle. This quest will automatically begin once you have collected all four of the forgotten relics. If you're not sure how to collect all of them, please check out my video, The Forgotten Relics which will help you through all the steps. Make sure you have all four relics in your bag then head over to Merlin to continue. We've finally collected enough forgotten relics to open a portal to the dark castle and face the forgotten. We will need to follow Merlin to the spot near the main well in the plaza. Once you've reached the well, chat to Merlin again. We will need to focus our magic on the forgotten relics which will open the portal to the dark castle. When you're ready you can pass through the portal into the Forgotten's realm and have your first look at the Dark Castle. Now we can enter the castle and face the Forgotten. After the cutscene you will need to find a way to make it through the first door, this will be the purple glowing door right in front of your character. When you approach the door, you should be able to interact with it. You can ask the door a few questions, but as soon as you request that it lets you through it declines, it does not recognize you without your wings and crown. For this part of the quest, you will need to dress as the forgotten with their wings and crown. Here you have two options, if you have collected the thorny wings, you can wear these but if you have not yet unlocked them you can also find a pair of cardboard wings by clearing the night thorns to the right of the castle entrance until you find the cupboard which will contain a clothing pouch. This clothing pouch has a pair of cardboard wings which will work for this quest. Then for the crown you will need to either wear the onyx crown or if you have yet to collect this, you can head to the left side of the castle entrance where you will find another wardrobe which contains a clothing pouch. This one will unlock the cardboard crown. Once you have your items ready, open your wardrobe to put on the crown and wings. Now if we talk to the door it should hopefully let us through without too much difficulty.
It took some convincing, but the door has finally agreed to let us through. You should now be able to enter to the next floor. Explore the next floor by clearing any night thorns and other obstacles that block your way. Head up the flight of stairs where you should find the next door at the far end of the castle. Here you should also find a memory that reveals the door is called Doreen and we will need to feed her to get her to open for us. Close to the door there is a cooking station, a selection of ingredients and a recipe book which will give you some clues regarding the food that Doreen likes to eat. So based on the clues given on the note, we will collect some of the dark castle lettuce which will provide the crunch. We will not use any dark castle garlic because she does not like bad breath. We will take some dreamlight salt for seasoning and we'll also take a thorn sprout which would have been grown in the dark castle. Once you've collected your ingredients, head over to the stove to cook the meal for Doreen. Head back to the door to feed her. If you've cooked the correct meal she should let you through to the next floor. Again you want to clear out all the obstacles in your way until you have reached the next door, this one has a note on the right hand side which you can interact with. To unlock this door, you will need to take out your camera and take a photo of it. Once you're done taking the photo, the door should appear and allow you to pass through. Again we will need to clear all the night thorns blocking our way until we have made it to the next door. On this floor we will need to collect four torches which need to be placed into the pedestals around the fountain. Once you have collected all four of the torches you will need to place them into each of their pedestals. Once all of them have been placed in the correct spot, a cutscene will play. Don't worry if you're not sure which one goes into which slot, the game will only allow you to place the correct torch in the correct spot. Gold bubbles will appear in the fountain, take out your fishing rod to fish out the dark castle key. Now that we have the key, we will be able to unlock the final door in the dark castle. Once you have made it through the final door, the cutscene will show the Forgotten casting their spell. You will need to confront them. This will conclude the quest, the Dark Castle and the next part of the story the remembering will begin. For now, we have reached the end of this video, as always please leave us a like if you found this video useful and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. I will see you next time as we continue our battle with the Forgotten.